Protect your time. Part of being an all-pro dad is keeping your calendar clear enough to spend some time with your kid. I'm going to have Jeff Kirk continue sharing about a choice he made. And, and you actually, I guess, turned down a promotion to ensure that you could spend more time with your daughter. That's a pretty big decision, but that also shows a lot of commitment. Kind of run us through what went through your mind as you actually turned down the promotion for this. I was, you know, at work and my boss quit and they suggested me for the job. It was actually to be a, a director and that, you know, we think you'd be really good at this. And uh, they gave me some time to think about it. And as I thought about it, I'm like, all right, well, that means I'd have to work more. That means I'd have to travel more. And I'm not really going to have the same flexibility I do now and be able to take some time off. So I thought about it and said, well, right now, what's really the most important thing to me? It's like having a job that pays good. All right, I already had that. Would it be nice to get the new job? Of course. It pays more and that would allow us to go do other things that we weren't able to do. But at the same time, I wouldn't get to spend as much time with her at school. I'd be working more nights, which would be taking time away from her. And my philosophy is, you know, your kids really only think you're amazing for a period of time. Once they get in the middle school or high school, they just don't want anything to do with their parents. So she was six years old at the time. And I was like, right now I'm going to focus more on her and less on my career. And so I explained it to him. I said, well, I really appreciate the fact that you would like me to do this and it means a lot to me. But at the same point, I really got to spend more time with my daughter. And I don't think that uh, this job would allow me to, to do what I'm doing today. And he actually understood. He's like, you know what? You're right. If you were to take this job, it would be a lot harder. It would be a lot more work. And obviously, uh, your kid's more important. So that was kind of a very nerve-wracking thing because you're like, I never turned down a promotion before, so not really sure how they would react to it. Kind of nervous, but was just honest and upfront, and uh, they understood, fortunately. You see, what Jeff did there was he made important the non-urgent. What I mean by that is that life can be divided into the things that are important and the unimportant, the urgent, the non-urgent. I want Wayne Parker to share a little more about this. You know, you, the, the telephone ringing or the knock at the door, you know, tend to be the things we respond to because they're urgent and they're clamoring for our attention. Um, and yet some of the most important things uh, don't clamor for our attention at all. Um, and if we're not deliberate and mindful about them, then we, we lose the opportunity to get them done. And I just, I think that's such an important concept to, uh, to remember the things that are important but not urgent. Um, again, the ones that never clamor but are the, th are the things that are really critical. Dads, I want you to write down all the things that are important and urgent, but also all the things that are important but non-urgent. The urgent and the unimportant and the non-urgent and the non-important. What is in your box or list that is important but non-urgent? Because that's the thing that often gets put aside.